So I know it's been a while since I posted a video, but welcome back to the channel, guys. It is your boy, Ash Royale, back here again with another video. And in today's video, I got something a little bit different for you guys because it's something I never review. And as you can see from the title down below, today we're going to be talking about ergonomic chairs. So with that being said, being a content creator slash gamer, one of the most important things that you can invest in is a great chair. And as you can see right there, the chair that I'm currently using is the Razer, I believe it's called Iskir X. And this is Razer's ergonomic chair but really it's just a gaming chair and the reason why i say this chair is a typical gaming chair even though they mark it as an ergonomic chair is for one it's all leather so it's no breathability this gets really really hot especially in the summertime if you're wearing like a tank top and shorts your skin will stick to this second thing there's really no lumbar support throughout this whole chair i mean you kind of got this little curve down here where the seat meets the back that's really not doing anything so with that being said being a content creator and a gamer you know you will spend hours at a time editing a video or you know being in a rank match of call of duty or overwatch so as time will go on i kind of find myself just hunching over because that lumbar support isn't there so the chair isn't naturally curving my back and last but not least this is actually one of the pros that i like about this chair is the fact that it has the adjustable armrest that you can actually bring it in or bring it out and you know you could bring it up or bring it down i did that opposite but you know what it is i mean despite all the bad things that i said about gaming chairs the real one reason why we buy them is because you know they just look so cool but functionality just not it so first off shout out to odin lake for sending me their new flagship model ergo plus ergonomic chair with that being said this video isn't a paid sponsorship so all opinions will be mine of my own but enough chit chat let's unbox this and build this <laughs> Shit got some weight to it. This packaging is like A1. That only took like 15 minutes. Uh, it could have been 10, but I was kind of lost at first. All right, guys, so this is the chair I put together. And when I tell you guys, the look and feel of this chair is absolutely amazing. The whole chair has an aluminum frame. And like I said before, it's mesh, but it feels like that premium mesh, you know? So the only thing I would switch on here are the caster wheels. And that's just personal preference. These wheels are great, but I just like rollerblade wheels on my chair. So now to get into all the features of this chair, cause it has a whole bunch. So on the right side of the chair, you have two levers here. The front lever makes you go down and then up. So on your back lever here, you're able to go forward. And then if you want to go back. So here on your left side, you either have a leather that locks your back so you can't move. Or if you release it, you're able to move all the way back and just chill. And most importantly on this chair, you have your lumbar support, which is very nice. And then depending on your height, you have a four level back adjuster. So one, two, three, four. And then when you get to five, it just resets. You also have your adjustable headrest, which I believe has three levels. So I believe it's one, two, three. I don't know who's on three. I don't know what the hell you're looking at, but yeah, you have the three right there. And last but not least, you have the adjustable armrest, which I absolutely love. So of course, up, down, forward, back, side in, side out. So, so clutch, man. Oh yeah, I almost forgot this knob right here. So this is your back tilt tensioner. So of course, the more you tighten it, the harder it's gonna be to lean back or basically like the more tense it's gonna be. Uh, when you loosen it all the way, you know, you just throw that mug back. But uh, yeah, so with all those great features that come with this chair, let's talk about is it worth the price point, which is a whopping $800.
Now I know a lot of you looking at me like, bro, I'm not spending $800 on a chair, period. But like I said earlier in the video, your chair is gonna be one of your most important investments when you're building your setup. And a great example of that is the chair that I showed you guys earlier, which is my Razer ergonomic chair, which cost me $400. For an extra $400, you're able to cop this. And this is worth it. And now that I think about it, this chair is probably the best budget option that has all the features and the build compared to like a Herman Miller, which is gonna cost you like 16 to $1,800. Once again, $800 half the price. Once again, I know you guys are looking at me crazy like, bro, $800 is not budget friendly. And you guys know I'm gonna keep it 100 with y'all every time. But sorry to burst your bubble, but when you're looking at chairs like Herman Miller, that's 16 to $1,800 price range, this is the best budget option. And be honest with you guys, cause you know I'm gonna keep it 100% with you guys all the time. I really had no trouble with the Razor chair because I have a standing desk. So anytime when I felt uncomfortable, I would just, you know, raise that up. I'll go sit, stand. That was like the greatest part about that. I really didn't have to deal with it being uncomfortable. But the fact that now that I can see myself and just feel how comfortable this chair is to know I can easily do four to six hours editing, playing the game. And just right now, I'm so comfortable. That's, it's the price to pay, honestly. So with that being said, if you guys made it to the end of the video, don't forget to go down below, smack that, that like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you feel this chair is worth it. And the bros is calling me to play 2K. So until next time, guys, peace.